Pinterest is always prioritizing fresh pins or old ones. You need to be publishing a minimum of one to two fresh pins every single day. But if you're stuck at your computer for hours trying to create fresh pins to post on Pinterest, you're doing it all wrong. Posting fresh pins on Pinterest doesn't have to take hours out of your day anymore. That's a better way to make fresh Pinterest pins fast and this video will show you how. Hello makers, this is Jack, the content marketer at Pickmaker. When it comes to making a pin on Pinterest, there are two ways. The first involves creating Pinterest pins from scratch with a complicated tool that demands high design knowledge. Oof! But the second covers the smart way of creating Pinterest pins that will save you tons of time and is probably easier. In this video, we will show you the easier and the quicker way. We'll also show you 100 plus pre-designed templates that you can use to create professional looking pins in no time. With no further delay, let's jump into today's video. First, start by opening a new page in your browser and go to pickmaker.com to log into your account. If you are a new user, click on the sign up button to create a new account for free. Now that we are on Pickmaker's dashboard, I'll take you through the exact steps to create viral Pinterest pins with minimal effort. Use the search bar to find pre-built pre-size options for all your social media graphics and choose Pinterest pin. Pickmaker's Pinterest pin templates have strong designs that will stand out on Pinterest. Remember, if you don't catch their attention, you cannot get their clicks. As you can see, there are tons of template options with different combinations of fonts, colors and backgrounds. Scroll through our endless Pinterest pin templates until you find the one that matches your vision. All these templates have been created by our excellent design team to ensure that there are a high number of clicks as well as conversions on your pins. Pick a pin template design and start with the template. Now you already have a template. All you need to do is customize your Pinterest pins by adding your own photos, your logo, text, fonts and brand colors. If you need a bit of creativity, you can always use a mad button to get hundreds of design suggestions in an instant. On the left hand side of your screen, you'll see a menu with several edit options. You have elements, text, backgrounds and uploads. This is where you will discover tons of images, icons and backgrounds in our asset libraries and add it to your design. When designing pins, try to use different fonts and color schemes within the pin. Also, make sure that all your pins have the same color theme. This is because readers will then be able to recognize your pins at first glance. Plus, it looks much more cohesive. First, we will start with changing the photo. To upload your own photo, navigate to the left hand sidebar and upload an image from your computer. Once uploaded, your image will appear in your files library. Then, you can drag and drop your image onto your slides. If needed, you can use our AI based background remover and stickerify feature to convert your picture into a sticker. Or you can find an image from over 100 million watermark free images in our stock library. Go to the search bar and type in the relevant keyword to search and you'll get endless results for any of your searches. That's pretty cool right? Now we will change the font style to match your branding. As we said before, keep your font similar while designing all your Pinterest pins as it helps people recognize your pins on Pinterest. Click on the text tab to change the text and fonts. You can choose from a huge font collection. Keep in mind that heavily styled fonts can be difficult to read and thin or light fonts lack contrast which can also affect their readability. So try and find a font that reflects the playlist's content. Feel free to use the drop down list to select the right font for your style. The next section lets you adjust the size and style to bold, italic, bold italic, underline or a strike through. The next section lets you choose the alignment and color of your text. Next to that, you have the letter spacing option which lets you space out or squish together the letters in your words. Line height adjusts the space between the lines of the copy. Under the effect bar, you can also add a shadow effect to your text. This is an awesome feature that helps your text stand out from the background. Not just that, you can choose to add a color overlay to tone down your photo by selecting any color you like. Here are some options.
You can also adjust the saturation, hue and contrast of the photo as well. Once you have selected your photo, color and fonts, you can make changes to your title and your website name. First, we will enter the title of your pin. Use shapes layered on the background photo so that it's easy to read the text. Make sure to always include a call to action. This will entice readers to click on your pin because they know what they can expect when they are visiting your website. Be sure that you've added your website name too. All these steps usually take a few minutes and just like that, you are done. Finally, we are going to add some graphics that fit the mood of your playlist. Navigate to the objects menu and click the search button to explore our extensive graphics library. You can drag and drop any graphics onto your image from here. You can also easily change the color of your graphics and make them sync with your artwork. Once you're done with your design, all that's left is to name the design and download it to your computer. Now click on the download button and select JPEG or PNG as your image format. Save it to your desktop or any other file folder on your laptop. Then just upload it straight to Pinterest or schedule your pin within Pinterest. Thanks for making it to the end. I hope this video was helpful to you. Now you know that creating Pinterest pins doesn't have to take hours out of your day anymore. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues and make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we release a new video on this channel. This is Jack signing off from Pickmakers YouTube channel. Happy designing!